Hey everybody, welcome back to our Square Drop Camper Build. Thank you for everybody who's subscribing and liking and commenting and just generally coming along on this journey. Today we begin work on our galley. So we're going to build, it might be part one of two videos, just to keep the videos a reasonable length. We're going to begin with the partition between the cabin and the galley, and then uh, go from there. So that's where we're headed. Okay, so this is going to be the wall between the cabin and the galley. And what I'm doing now is I'm setting it up to cut out a notch in the corner. Uh, you can see the lines there. So that will be underneath the galley counter and this will be cut out and it will be a pass through um, for storage and things. So that's what we're doing right now. So here we are, we finished cutting that wall and the space right here is where that is. I've put it in place. I haven't fastened it yet. Um, while I had it down, I went ahead and put some urethane on it and stained it. Not in that order, of course. Stained it and then put urethane on it. And now it is in place and we will need to fasten it. And uh, let me show you what we're going to do. Okay, let me show you what I did here on the outside first. On the outside, I went ahead and drew a line. You can ignore that line. That was from a previous iteration that I switched. I went ahead and drew a line where that galley wall is going to be, the center of that ply. And I went ahead and screwed pilot holes. And I'm going to countersink those as well all the way down. So those will go through on both sides. And then as we come inside here at the floor at the bottom, I have the pocket screws here couple on this side, a couple on the inside that will just help fasten that a little better. I didn't show you when I placed that wall in there, but I did go ahead and try to line it up with my line on either, on either side. And then I went ahead and squared down at the corner and put the level up in it. Right now, if I don't tip and move it, it's in place. And the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and fasten that wall in there. Okay, well that's fastened. Now I have one of the pieces that's going to go underneath and what's gonna happen with this one is uh, that's gonna under here into here and so that's gonna uh, be one of the partitions underneath the uh, galley countertop. What we're gonna do now, we're not gonna install that now, what we're gonna do now is we're going to put the finish on uh, the face here and we're going to use this uh, veneer it's got the um, adhesive on the back this heat activated so we're going to do that now you can find this in virtually any of the big box stores so that's what's going to happen next all right so i got a little uh, blemish there i'm going to just not use that so i'll go over the edge here and then you just take an iron and like i said that adhesive is heat activated so once you got it lined up you run the run the iron across and uh, the great thing about this is if you don't quite get it lined up you can pass over it again with the heat and it, um, slide it to where you need it to be but you just go over until that gets it's good on there. There it is. We'll finish that up on both sides and then um, get some finished work on and get this one installed too. That petition is now in place after it has been finished and prepped. So we did the finish work and it turned out nicely. We went ahead and drilled some pocket screws. So there's some pocket screws on the top to secure to the countertop and then on the bottom down here to secure to the floor. So we'll get that squared in there so that we can go ahead and fasten that.
that's going to be all for this video. Next video, we'll go ahead and finish the galley counter and partitions underneath. And then on the inside, which is where I'm sitting, there will be a loft. We'll finish that too, hopefully. Appreciate your watching. Thanks for subscribing. Take care.